Welcome back to the studio. I'm Warhammer Man, and uh, been uh, really busy lately, finishing up a few projects. And uh, before a couple of these models go out, I just wanted to take the time and just kind of show them off. Uh, don't mind the uh, shaky cam. Sorry about that. I'm just trying to get a little better uh, detail. Uh, this is a uh, Mephiston model. Um, did like a little bit of an ice space on him, and then uh, you know, obviously, he's got like the uh, realistic like blood effects. And, uh, you know, added the snow to give it, like, a little extra, uh, like, dramatic look. Um, and then we did, like, some uh, Deptus Custodes uh, with, like, those little uh, temple-style bases uh, that we had made up in one of the previous videos. We did, like, a little tutorial on that. Um, so if you hadn't uh, checked that out yet, I highly recommend you uh, take a look at that because um, we were able to make, like, a ton of them for real cheap and uh, use them on, like, a few different projects that they fit real nice on. Um, here we did like a little bit of like a wet blending um, on the cape. Uh, these ones are specifically like painted up to look like, uh, you know, like the ones off of the box. Uh, so they don't have like as much of like a dramatic uh, paint scheme. I have like my own typical style that I do custodes in. It's a little bit different, but I pick out like a lot more of the details in silver. Uh, but again, this one's like specifically done a little more towards like, you know, the regular uh, box art. Um, and uh, here we got a bunch of uh, bunch of Death Watch guys here too, and uh, you know obviously they're all from different chapters. Um, you know this one's a, a white scar uh, with the Inferno uh, heavy bolter or Infernus heavy bolter, and then we've got uh, this dude's a Watch Sergeant right here, Dark Angels with a Combi Plasma uh, and a Power Sword. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And these are all like done to specific uh, specifications. Um, and then uh, we've got our salamander here uh, with a little frag cannon action. Uh, very cool. Very happy with how these came out overall too. And then we've got a uh, and we've got our uh, black templar next. Uh, and he's got the uh, heavy thunder hammer and a little bit of a cape action right there. And then let's see, we got got the Iron Hands here next, and uh, he has a um, you know like super bionic head and also a bionic arm as well. And then uh, Combi Melta. And then let's see who's next here. Got our Ultramarine here next uh, with the Stalker Bolt Rifle. You know I like the kit and it has a ton of cool options, but like I think they should have like a little more aggressive of a pose or maybe have like two options. Um, but if you want to take like the stalker bolt rifle in the um, in the kit, he's in like this reloading pose, which I guess that's cool if you like that. I don't know. I wasn't a huge fan, but there's your ultramarine, and then we have uh, this is our uh, black shield here, and he's got the uh, storm shield and power sword, and then obviously a uh, little cape action as well. And instead of doing like the glow on the power weapons here. Uh, we just did like the highlighted uh, metal, uh, a little different, try to be diverse. And then here we've got our Raven Guard uh, shotgunner. And then, you know, obviously he's got the, uh, got the hood as well. All right, getting down to the last couple now. We got our Space Wolf right here uh, with the regular old bolter and a little power sword action. And again, I would have like done a couple of these uh, like without helmets, but um, you know they were specifically requested like certain way, just because like the non-helmeted heads I think gives you like a little more like diversity in how you make them look. Um, and then here's last but not least uh, the Imperial Fist uh, with frag cannon. And as you can see, I mean the whole commission came out real nice. I try to frame out their faces and like do a little extra detail on like their little like death watchy like arms. Um, but you know the goal is to obviously just you know make sure everything pops and uh, you know they look good as a unit, as an army, um, kill team, games of 40k, or you know even just on the display on the shelf. Uh, you know whatever somebody decides to do with them. You know, the goal is, is obviously to, uh, like always exceed the expectations, um, especially with like, uh, commissions. Cause you know, a lot of times, like obviously the client's going to already have like in their head an idea of what it's going to look like. So we just want to make sure that when something goes out of the studio, 
uh, you know, that it looks better um, than what you're expecting. So, and uh, you know, there's a few models getting ready to head out here. And uh, if you're not familiar, we do a lot of like conversions, customizations, um, you know, a lot of like unique content that you're not going to find other places. Uh, we're going to get to some battle reports and stuff like that here soon. And uh, also going to be working on like the quality a little better. Uh, if you're not familiar, that's why I'm using my phone right now. Um, it's just to get like a little bit of a better quality like close-ups on uh, some of these models. Uh, as my uh, camera that I got is just not doing the trick up close. Um, I even tried like changing the lighting all around and everything. So, uh, But anyway, that's... Uh, that's a few of our uh, most recent models heading out here. Uh, we've got the Death Watch Kill Team, 10 man strong. Uh, we've got the Mephiston, uh, Lord of Death, the new model that just came out here. Uh, you know, with the glow on his power weapon. And then obviously, like, you know, added some snow to the bottom of his cape and everything and to his base. And there's like a little bit of that blood effect on his uh, finger and in the vials and everything. Kind of gives it like that extra little shininess. And then we've got obviously. Uh, the custodes as well and all those death watch and then uh you know i haven't really like showed these off recently but working on the sisters of battle uh, army commission as well so i will have some uh, updates on them uh, as they are like absolutely striking and i'm probably not gonna be able to get a good close-up like picture of it but the armor is like phenomenal and that blue like just absolutely pops so looking forward to uh you know showing a little progress on them as well and uh, you know, looking forward to uh, seeing the client's reaction uh, when these bad boys arrive. So there you have it, guys. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and I'm out of here.